said he was asleep. Somebody stole his car. But how did he get the keys? Episode. Shit. KO vibes. We about to watch, man. This dude claimed, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you see that car right there inside that house? This dude said, man, it's his car. First of all, it's his car. But he said, man, he don't know how his car ended up in the side of that house. Let's see what he got to say about that. The lights are on and the keys still in the ignition, but the driver may be long gone. I just bought the car. I don't have insurance yet. I haven't even got it fully registered yet. Navarre's Campbell admits this. Do you believe him? This is his. If you live with his mom, then I'm sure his mom made sure that shit. So he just bought the car. He don't got no insurance. No, you gotta have insurance to get cars nowadays, right? Nah, you gotta have insurance to get cars, but you gotta have insurance. For like a dealership, right? They don't care. Nah, you gotta. No, it's on you. Says he wasn't behind the wheel when it jumped the curb near 69th and Silver Spring and barreled through the wall of this Milwaukee home. Somebody stole my car. The 17 year old <laughs> says someone swiped his car while he was sleeping. Here I come walking down the street and I actually see my car in the house. The homeowner's daughter didn't want to go on camera but shared with us this picture taken inside the home. She says her 90 year old mother, who lives here alone, was scared but thankfully not injured. Campbell says he's shaken too. This is the most scariest thing I've ever seen. Someone could have been sitting right there. Could have been dead. Boy, cut your hair, boy. <laughs> Campbell doesn't know how the thief snatched his keys or how this car ended up in the home. That's something Milwaukee police. The lights are on. Well, that's about it on that shit. Do y'all think he's acting or y'all don't y'all think he don't know? Yeah, because if the title say this dude acting skills are amazing. As if he's lying. As if the nigga's lying. Is he acting? I don't know, he kinda got me, man. Nah, <laughs> I know. That's why they said his acting skills were on point. He said he was asleep. He said he was asleep. Somebody stole his car. But how did he get the keys? You don't know, cause he was late. That <laughs> <laughs> nigga lying, man. He was drunk. I'm gonna tell you what really happened. He hit that club. He lived by three o'clock. He's like, oh, I got a new car. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's his first new car, so when you get something new, you don't really know how to drive it like perfectly. So mm -hmm. he got in it, hit the gas all fast. How he probably got the music loud. He drunk out that goose. Or whatever. Listening, listening to that. Uh, no, he's 17, so he's probably on like. A he probably still drink. Or something. A smoking. He probably smoking. Smoking. Yeah, he was smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking some lime meridas, listening. That's on he me. He was on four baby. locos. He's just like, can I get a four loco? <laughs> he knew that dude. Man, he's on four yeah, locos. He was lit, man. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He was lit. He ran into that house. He jumped that curb, man. Ran into that house. <laughs> And see, you see the passenger side door open because he couldn't get out the driver's side. He jumped out that car, ran home, and jumped in the bed. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the fuck happened, bro. Because he knew the police was going to track. And then when, the, and then when he, he woke up the next day, he walked by the crime scene. And then he going to try to act like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but he played because now he, don't, he ain't in trouble. I couldn't believe it when I first saw it. I couldn't believe that was my car. He knew what he was doing. Yeah. Good job, guy. <laughs>